In this episode, the sunken sailboat gets its final haul out. And we plan the longest sailing trip yet. We're gonna be gone on this trip and I just, it's time to change the oil. Someone told me I have oil on my neck. We looked at this old sunken sailboat that was damaged in Storm Nicole a few episodes ago. It's been sitting here at the entrance to our marina. It's been in a couple other videos as we drive by it. But today, the salvage team is here to remove it. like the boat's coming apart. I'm gonna let some water drain out, see if it's lighter. So they hauled it up into a big container and took it away. I feel like I'm planning a trip around the world here for my sailboat, but we're only going to go 250 miles away to Key West. But still, when are we going to get there? Where are we going to stay? What needs to be done on the boat before we leave? It just seems like an exhaustive list of things to do. Day after day I stare at this list. It's driving me crazy, but we're making some progress. In the last episode, I was playing around with ways to get the whisker pole off the deck. I printed a few whisker pole mounts with my 3D printer, but I was using the old PLA, and that's no good for in the sun or outdoor use. Today I have a whisker pole. These are ABS whisker pole holders. Those, are, those can be out in the sun. It's outdoor ABS. It's much stronger. It has much more longevity in the sun. And so um, I printed them out of ABS. I got a, a safety line, a two x four for the fuel tanks that I have to cut at home and drill. And I got the hardware and U-bolts for that. So I'm just chiseling away at that list. The trick here is not to drop anything overboard. I have two extra <clears throat> lock nuts, but no extra screws. there see how it goes I ran a safety line so we could clip into it with our harness as we move around on the deck especially at night I'm going to uh, fly up and get a shot of the top of the mast so I can see what I'm dealing with up there before I climb up just to see what that lighting housing looks like because if it's terrible condition I'll just buy a whole new housing but if it looks like I can save it I might just get the bulb some people on the forums I've read just can't get these uh, fixtures unscrewed to replace them I guess I'd just rather replace the bulb I got to keep it simple here so that's my main goal and if I can't do that I'll order a new fixture but it was nice to see what I have to deal with before I actually climb up there And I think that worked out really well. The shots look really good. By the way, that music you hear, there's like a local artist who painted a mural of a turtle on our water tower. And there's some kind of big celebration going on here today with food trucks and a bunch of tents set up. I don't really know what it is yet. I'm going to go find out. 
Oh, there's a dolphin right there, it just came up. So what I'm doing here is, uh, I'm actually gonna put our destination in, um, in the chart plotter and just see what it looks like it's gonna have us do. Cause I know exactly where we're gonna go, but I'd like to see what this says. So um, I'm not dealing with that like on the morning of our sale, if it's saying to go somewhere different or it has some problem with that. So that's what I'm gonna take a look at. This has our previous, well, he must be here because that boat just moved. So he's down there. There he goes, right there. Flying down through here. Watch, he'll come back in a minute. Looks like he has a little one with him. All right, I'm gonna save you from all that violin music and uh, do a voiceover here. I'm just looking at my chart plotter and looking at where we're gonna go, putting the trip into it so that I'm not lost on the day or two that we're out there trying to figure out where to go or when we get down to Key West being confused by what the chart plotter is saying versus what I'm seeing. So I just wanna look at some of that as part of my trip planning. So I stored a waypoint called Key West so I can just pull that up and that should take us right to where we're staying. In the cabin here, we're also gonna be running this Navionics, so when you're down here, either when you're down here, you can see it or you can take it off this mount and look at it closely. If it's storming, uh, it's a little water alarm. If it's storming and it's hard to see that one or we need to look for ports or something, we can use this one in here, which is a lot. Uh, na it has Navionics and I downloaded the offline maps, so, um, We'll be, yeah, looking at this while we're cruising out there. All the white areas, what I downloaded, which covers our whole sailing area. All right, living in Florida, got lots of mosquitoes all the time. So I imagine that in March in the Keys, we're gonna probably encounter some of these unfriendly blood suckers. So we got these cool mosquito net thingies that are made for each of our things. So this one here is for the bow, and this one is gonna be for our companion way. We still have to figure that one out. And this one here is for the center patch. Okay. Okay, so got some little weights. Let's go put it on. I like that it has these weights so yeah. it holds it down hold it down pretty nicely yeah that works pretty well then i don't know i feel like did i measure wrong or i don't know it's it's like but it is closed and sealed all the way so that's good yeah it doesn't have to be open all the way this <laughs> yeah. is good enough yeah it's way better than nothing and then when you want to come out you can just literally like flip it out of the way and then lines that are good for lashing so we might lash the fuel tanks down with these or um, you know something that comes loose during the trip so these are all good little lines to keep in a pile for whatever emergency use you might need them for So it's a good place for it. This is the line in case we ever have to be towed. Keep this in here. Well, just okay. changing the oil. We're gonna be gone on this trip and I just, it's time to change the oil, so I'm doing it. Yep. Whew. Whew, man. Someone told me I have oil on my neck. Changed my oil. And, uh, God, this list I have, it's just, I gotta change my oil. I um, did the anchor chain. I should probably take you up and show you that. I mean, it's not really much to show you, but. So I have my paint on it for now. This is good enough for this trip. Um, and I marked this too. So I have different dashes and marks on this. Um, here's where you can see there's a triple da quadruple dash there. So I have a, I make a laminated card for that. Just so we know how much anchor we have out. Man, what a beautiful night though.
never spend too much time up here. Well, that was a good long day out here. We knocked some things off the list, got one step closer to going to Key West. Um, you know, it seems like it goes slower than you think, like you could do 10 of those things in a day, but you can only do five. But we did the big stuff, we got most of it done, and um, we still have a couple weeks before we leave, so I feel pretty good about that. I'm hoping everyone stays with us and goes with us and experiences this with us together. Um, some people cross oceans and they don't do this much planning probably, but this is our first big trip in a boat like this. So it feels like a big deal. What you making? I'm, gonna, I'm trying to make you a captain's chair nice. cover for your new chair. My what? For your new chair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired after today. Ooh, look at that black gold Texas tea. What was the third thing that Jethro Clampett said? Oh my god, look at that. That looks so black. I guess you could have a mechanic go out and do all this instead of doing it yourself, but oh man.